In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get the most out of your Apple Watch Series 10. I'm gonna cover all the most important settings and options. Now, all you need to follow along is your Apple Watch Series 10 and your iPhone because we need your iPhone or your iPad to use the Apple Watch app. That's an app that comes installed with every iPhone. Okay, first things first, unlock your iPhone and have your Apple Watch turned on. As long as it's turned on, which you could do by pressing and holding the button on the side here, let me go ahead and unlock my phone one more time because we're gonna get something that's gonna pop up right here to pair our watch. I'm gonna press continue right over here. Now, if you've already paired your watch with your iPhone, you could jump ahead about a minute. I'll put timestamps in the description below, but it's pretty simple. Set it up for yourself. I'm gonna go ahead and press that. It's gonna put this graphic here on our watch. We just have to scan that with our phone and your Apple Watch is paired, and then you could go ahead and restore it from a previous backup if you've backed up your watch before, or set it up as a new watch. In this case, I'm gonna set it up as a new watch. It's gonna ask us if it's gonna go on our left wrist or right. In this case, it's gonna go on my left, continue. You could set a four digit passcode here, but I'm gonna skip that for now. You could change the font size on your watch, so this one is a good one. I'm gonna press continue. All your health information from your health app from your iPhone will get carried over. Continue. If you sleep with your watch, you could set up a sleep schedule, but I don't, so I'm gonna skip that. It's gonna let you know if you're in noisy environments here. Continue. And some of these options like gestures and things like that, like double tapping, I'm gonna show you that in this video too. Now, this could also measure temperature, time, and depth up to 20 feet, so you could go ahead and set that up more manually. And I'm gonna press continue here and my watch is gonna be ready in a second as soon as this dial is done. And I'm gonna say get to know your watch, but we're gonna cover some of these important settings in this video. Okay, the Apple Watch is all set up. Let's go ahead and get started with it. Okay, so the very first thing I wanna show you is just the basics over here. This is basic buttons and navigations. So you have a dial over here on the right side. You have a button here on the right side as well. And on the left side, you have speakers. So this new Apple Watch 10 actually could play audio, play music out loud through these speakers, which we did not have in previous versions of Apple Watch. Now this dial is called a digital crown, and as soon as you start using it like this, it's gonna show you these things called smart stacks. Now the other option you have is if you press this option just one time right here, the digital crown, you're gonna see all your different apps, and this is the view that they come in. This is just the grid view, they call it and it's the way the Apple Watch has always been. But if you don't like this option, I actually don't like it. If you go all the way to the bottom, you have this list view, which shows you your apps in alphabetical order, which I, is what I prefer. I think it's a much quicker way to get to it. And besides looking at your apps, if you scroll from the top, you're gonna also get this menu over here, which is gonna show you some notifications and some of the apps that you might use. You could also press and hold the digital crown, and this is gonna activate Siri, which I'm gonna try to avoid saying it, but this is gonna listen to you, but it will give you an answer this way, and it's getting smarter and smarter with the new Apple intelligence all the time. Now, you also have a button right here, and if you press this just once, you're going to get your control center. And these are some of the most important settings that you usually wanna turn on and off with your watch. By default, Wi-Fi has been connected. It took that from my phone's connection when I sank it with my phone. You could go ahead and turn Wi-Fi on. If you click on the airplane mode, this turns off everything, including Wi-Fi and Bluetooth with your watch, especially if you're on a flight, that is a useful option. Now this one's useful. If you can't find your phone, it's not nearby, you could just click it and it will ring your phone, which is an easy way to find your phone. Let me click that again. This one right here shows your battery life here. And if you're ever going very low on battery, you could enter low power mode, which is a really useful option with this control. This is a little flashlight, turns your phone into this right here. You have multiple options available with this flashlight option. I'm gonna turn that off. This next one right here, if you turn this on, you could turn on do not disturb or any of these other privacy options that are available to you. Then underneath that, you have theater mode, which is a nice mode, which turns your screen dark until you tap the screen, so it just doesn't automatically get activated. I use this in the movie theater all the time, but there's other reasons why you might wanna use it. This one is if you are underwater, or if you get your phone underwater, you'll have to press, you can't do anything with it if it's in this mode, and then to unlock your phone, you just have to go ahead and press this right here and hold it, and it's gonna 
unlock it by ejecting any water. And you'll physically see that once you get the foam wet, that is an option here for locking it under water. This one is to put your phone on silent mode. This is on by default off silent mode. This is silent mode. If you change the style and the text size, you could go ahead and do that in this menu as well. This one, as I mentioned, this has speakers here on the right side, so you could change the volume of that. So you could take it all the way down if you don't want it to have any speaker. That's different than this notification. This is just specifically for playing podcasts and music and things like that. Then all the way towards the bottom, you have this option right here, which is your Bluetooth, and you could turn that on and off. And this last one here lets you control any hearing devices and headphones. I don't have one connected here. And if you press edit, you could add any of them. So I removed the walkie talkie one that comes by default to show you that you could actually add a couple of things that are missing. Walkie talkie requires your other contacts to have it. And it's another way to talk to them. A lot of people don't use this though. And there's another one for school time. If you have kids, you could also add that. This one's not added by default, but if you decide to remove anything, just go ahead and edit this right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and press minus there. And then it's going to come to this more section, but it won't appear. So you could control this and move things around based on your needs. Okay. The next thing I wanted to show you is called multitasking. If you double click this right here, it's going to let you see your recent apps. Now I don't have any open, so I'm going to click it once. I'm going to open the alarm app and I'm going to close that. And I'm going to open the app store. I'm going to close that. And I'll also open this EKG app. Okay, now if I double click this digital crown, I could quickly go through any open app I have. And if I wanna close any of them, I could just slide this way and close it. But this is a really quick way to get to apps that you open all the time, instead of just pressing it once and trying to find that app here. So double clicking it gives you this thing called multitask mode. Next, I wanna show you how to customize your watch. First, I wanna show you how to actually add a new watch face. So if you don't like the one that comes by default, this one right here, we're gonna go ahead and change it. The easiest way to do that is with the watch app on your phone. So if you press it, I'll show you how to do it on the watch too, but it's a little bit easier to install new ones here. You have a whole section on this app called Face Gallery. Again, this is the watch app on your phone, comes installed by default, or you could get it again from the App Store. And you could explore all kinds of different watch faces. Some of the new ones will show up right on top over here. So let's say I wanna actually add this one. I like this one right here. I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna go ahead and press add right here, but you could customize everything about it right over here. Okay, so all these could be customized and there's something called complications. These are the little dials that you see on some of these watch faces that lets you switch different apps. I'll show you this and what these do as soon as we add this watch face. Okay, so if I click it, I could customize it and then I could press add right over here. Now, if I go back to my watches, it's gonna show that right on top. So that one was missing for some reason and just appeared. Now to add a new watch face, once it's over here, just press and hold on it right here. And then you'll get this menu that says set as watch face. And then just like that, it's appearing over there. So very quick way to change your watch face anytime you want. Again, you have a whole watch gallery or a face gallery down here to choose from. If this page gets too crowded, just go ahead and press edit and you could remove any of them from this section. Now, if you wanna change the watch face on your watch, all you have to do is press and hold down and then any previous ones could appear over here. And then you could also press the plus sign here and see other ones. The same kind of thing I showed you on the phone and then you could go ahead and add them from there. But typically I just like to use the watch app on the iPhone or the iPad instead of doing it on the watch itself. Now, the next thing is called complications. Those are the little apps that show up right on top. Sometimes you could have four of them on your watch too. They could be in all these corners. Sometimes they're in the middle of the dial. But for example, if I click this one, this lets me start a workout. So if I'm doing an outdoor walk, I just click that. It starts an outdoor walk. And then when I'm done with the walk, I could just slide over, end it, and then there we go. If I go back to the watch face, that's how I got to it very quickly. Now these apps or complications could actually be edited so you could change them. And the way you do that is you go back to the watch app, click on that face. Th these are dependent on which face you chose for your watch. And right here, it says on the top left, I got conditions, that's weather. On the top right, I had the workouts. And on the very bottom, I have the heart rate here which is showing up down in the bottom. So if I select any of these, I could actually choose from number of different apps that are available to me. And I could do the same thing with all of these. Now I'm gonna show you how to actually add even more apps from the app store. 
These are just some of the default apps I had in my previous watch. So how do you install apps on the watch? Well, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is press once. App Store is one of the apps that comes with your watch. So if you click on it right here, this is the homepage of the Watch App Store. And right here it says best apps for Watch OS 11. You could select that. You could see all kinds of different apps over here. And if you like any of them, let's say the Smart Gym one, I'm gonna download it just like any other app that you download on your iPhone, just press download on it. And it's gonna go ahead and download it to your watch. And they have ton of different apps available over here that you could explore on your own. Now, if you wanna remove any apps, go back to this menu right over here. And all you have to do to remove an app that can be removed is press and hold on this page right here. And any of them that get that X, that means they can be removed from here. Now, if you don't see an X, those have to remain on your watch. But in this case, if I wanna remove the medication one, I could just delete the app from there. And it's been removed. Now, there's one more option that I had to put this on my wrist for, which is double tapping your fingers and controlling it. This is with gesture motion, this double tap gesture. So if I double tap right now with my fingers, it will actually open up this smart stack. And this smart stack is fully customizable. So if you wanted to customize it, these are different widgets that you could go ahead and remove or add. So if I wanted to add one of them, something I use all the time, maybe the activity monitor here, I'll go ahead and add that. And this is the one and it will show up right on top over here. So if I press the check mark and if I just go ahead and close this watch, let me double tap and it's gonna bring that back up. Looks like I didn't move it to the top right here. So I'll move it all the way to the top. I'll go ahead and pin this one to the top, press the check mark right here. If I double tap, I could quickly see this right here. If you're getting a phone call too, or if you're getting a text message, you could double tap. It will go ahead and let you pick up that phone call right on your phone if you have that option available. And you could always use the Siri option too to respond because every time you get a text message, you could respond that way. Double tap and it will bring up the response to a text message. And you also wanna make sure you keep your watch up to date. So to do that, if you go to the watch app and come all the way to the top of your watch app, there's a section called general. If you go over here, you could go to software updates and over here, it's always gonna check for the latest update for you to make sure you don't have any update. It looks like I actually have a brand new update over here. So you wanna go ahead and press download and install. And this way you make sure your watch is up to date. Typically, if you have this on, this automatic update on, it will try to do these type of updates at night when you have this set on charge. Now, I also made a different video to show you how to get the most out of your iPhone. So I'll go ahead and link that here. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.